Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to discuss the important points in the first unit. Ahmed. Good morning, Ahmed. Zakir Sahib. How are you? Let's start with unit 10, probably. This unit is talking about ways of traveling. Ways of traveling. Hey, Ahmed, which mean of transport do you prefer? Uh, uh, I prefer uh, a bus. Okay, the bus. Okay. Have you ever traveled by train? Yes. Do you like traveling by train? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see the most important words in our lesson. Let's start with the word destination. What does it mean? Destination means the place you are traveling to. The place you are traveling to. Number two, scenery means mountains, rivers, or other natural changes that you can see. Carriage means part of a tree, part of a tree. Meeting, an event when people meet to discuss something. An event when people meet to discuss something. Talking means arranging for something you won't leave. Arranging for something you won't leave. Return ticket means ticket for a journey to a place and back again. Ticket for a journey to a place and back again. Economy means for less money, for less money. We have important expression and the proposition. Can you see? Arrive in or at means get to or reach. Arrive in or at means get to or reach. Fog means reserve. Fog means reserve. Pay attention to this proposition. In 15 minutes of time. In 15 minutes of time. Let's see. This collocation is very important. Get on or off. Get on or off. We use get on with these ways of transport. A bus, a ferry, a horse, a train, a plane. But if we have a car or a taxi, we use get into or get out of. Get into or get out of. Look at this exercise. What would you say in each of the following situations? Ahmed, you ask when the naked train leaves. You ask when the naked train leaves. What would you say? Ahmed, can you hear me? You ask when the next train leaves. What would you say in this situation? Okay, if you ask about the time, you can say what time, what time does the next train leave? What time does the next train leave? Number two, you want to book a train ticket to Alexandria. You want to book a train ticket to Alexandria. What would you say? Uh, okay. Can I book a, a ticket? Very good, Ahmed. Yes. Can I book a ticket? If he said single or return, you can say single or return the ticket to Alexandria. Very good. Okay. Number three. Your brother tells you that he lost his expensive watch. Your brother tells you that he lost his expensive watch. In this situation, we will see if it's good news, Ahmed, or bad news. If we bad have news. good news, yes, okay, very good. If we have bad news, you can say, I'm sorry, oh no, you must be really upset, or that's awful. 
I'm sure it will be fine. You can say one of these expressions. But if it's good news, you can say, well done, congratulations. That's brilliant news, or that's excellent, or I'm happy for you. In this situation, you said it's bad news. What would you say, Ahmed? Uh, bad news, I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, how terrible. Okay, very good. So, uh, turn it to the next question. Your friend did badly in the exam. Your friend did badly in the exam. What would you say to him? Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Very good, Ahmed. You know that your friend got a prize. Is it good or bad uh, news? Uh, good news, good Eva. News. How wonderful. How wonderful. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, the last one. Your friend has won a running race. Your friend has won a running race. What would you say? Uh, how wonderful. How wonderful. Well done. Okay, Ahmed, thank you. This is how we respond to the news. If it's good news or bad news. Let's turn to the grammar point in our unit, future forms. Ahmed, we have different forms to express the future. The first one, as you say, we can say well plus infinitive as in this example, number one, I think it will rain tomorrow. Number two, if you could, if you get high mark, I will buy you a mobile. Number three, there is no sugar. I will buy some. Number four, my brother will be 30 next year. We use the form will plus infinitive in example one for prediction. If we see since it's a prediction, we use will plus infinitive. Number two, if you get high mark, I will buy you a mobile phone. This is a promise. We use the form will plus infinitive for promise. Number three, there is no sugar. I will buy some. This is quick decision. This is quick decision. Number four, my brother will be 30 next year. This is fact. This is fact. So we use will plus infinitive to express future. Okay? Number two, look at this example. There are a lot of clouds. It's going to rain. There is a prediction, but it's based on present reality. We have evidence. Present on present reality, a lot of clouds. So we use the four verb to be plus going to plus infinity. It's going to read. It's going to read. Number two, if you have intention to do something, if you have intention, they are going to buy a car. They are going to buy a car. So we use verb to be with going to plus infinitive for prediction based on present reality or if we have intention. We will turn it to the third form. We use the present continuous to express the future. For example, as you see, example number one, we are visiting a swan tomorrow. We are visiting a swan tomorrow. They are playing football after two days. We use the present continuous for things that we have already arranged to do in the future. That we have arranged to do in the future. Number four, the last four. We use the present symbol. The train leaves. The train leaves at 9 p.m. If we have timetable. If we are on a timetable, we use the present symbol to express the future. As you see in example number two, the film started at 12 as usual. The film started at 12 as usual. Number three, what time does your train arrive on Saturday? We can see the present for, for future events which are on a timetable. Okay, Ahmed, can you answer this exercise? Rewrite. We will okay. see number one. It's arranging to borrow the book. 
can you use I? It's arranged to, bo to borrow the pop. If we have arrangement, we use which form? Uh, present continuous. Yes, very good, Ahmed. Huh? I am. I am. Uh, as I would bro ing. Yes, very good. I'm pro uh, borrowing the book. I'm borrowing the book. The book. Okay, very the good. Book. Number two, your plane is at 9 p.m. We have timetable. We are on a timetable. Time they ask you to use leave. Uh, our plane. Our plane. Leaves leave. at very good. 9, 9 p.m. We use the present simple and time table. Number three, I promise to buy you a mobile. Use well. Uh, well. I will buy. I will buy. Very good, yes. I will buy you a mobile. Very good, Ahmed. I will buy you a mobile. If we have a promise, we use the form well plus infinitive. Number four, we are going to buy a building. Use intent. We use verb to be plus going to if we have intention. Yani Ashil or going to hot intent. Very good, yes. Or going to replace it with intent. We intend. Uh, we intend. Yes. Buy a villa. We intend to buy a villa. Very good, yeah. Uh, let's see. We have a, a short or a small quiz. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one, the assistant told us that our seat was the front, was at the front of the train. Train or carriage, theater, ladder. Carriage. Very good, Ahmed. Yes, carriage means a part of a train, part of a train. Okay. Number two, excuse me, is Alexandria the final is based on this train? Final, condition, uh, reservation, destination, booking. Destination. Yes, the place where you are traveling to, destination, the final destination. Very good. Uh, number three. Most people travel in plus on plane. Economy, Ferris, business, CIB. Uh, first. Most people travel in. Uh, Ferris. Oh, uh, economy. Economy, yes. For less money. Okay. Number four. The bus to a swan. At 10. This evening at 10 this evening leave will leave is going to leave is leaving leaves leaves very good this is future future events on my table we use the present tense well done Ash. number five I'm hungry I sent oil a sandwich I'm hungry I sent oil a sandwich I boy I will buy, I'm going to buy, I'm buying. Yeah, I will. Very good, yes. If we have ten, I think I will buy a sandwich. I will buy a sandwich, yes. Number six, I intend to buy a new car. I will buy, I'm going to buy, I'm buying. Uh, I am going to buy. I'm going to buy. Huh. Yes, I'm going to buy if we have intention. Okay. Uh, number seven. My daughter stays for years next week. B will be is going to be is being. Will be. My daughter will be very good. Yes, this is fact. Well, will be. Number eight, you should arrive early in that hotel because it's usually crowded. You should what? Uh, book, should book. Look, yes, book means 
اللي هو الحجز نمبر 9 تيكت فور جيرني تو ا بليس اند باك اجين اور سينجل ريتيرن ماريد سوبن تيكت ريتيرن تيكت تو ا بليس اند باك يس ذس از ريتيرن تيكت نمبر 10 يسترداي وي جوت فيس ذا باس اند وينت تو ذا بارك جوت اون Yes. Okay. Okay, Ahmed. You will say unit eleven. Making the right choices. Uh, can you remember this unit? Yes. Let's remember the important words. We have uh, pass. What does it mean to be successful in an exam? Pass an exam to be successful in an exam. The same means an element. An element. Addictive. Addictive means unable to stop doing something. Unable to stop doing something. Lung means an organ which helps you breathe. Lung, an organ which helps you breathe. Operation, when a doctor comes into your body to help you get better. Operation means when a doctor comes into your body to help you get better. Okay? We have some language notes. For example, stop. Plus stop, we have the verb the plus ing. He stopped smoking, he stopped uh, watching the TV. Plus exam means succeed in exam. Succeed in exam. Become addicted to something. He become addicted to or he became addicted to smoking. Uh, regret. Plus regret, we have verb the plus ing. Uh, the word the choices, we have the verb make choices, make choices, or make posters, make posters. No for sure, no for sure, okay? Uh, we are going to talk about stability in the past. If we want to express stability in the past tense, we use Ahmed, my have plus BB, might have plus BB. He might have taken the book, I'm not sure. He might have taken the book, I'm not sure. Number two, Ali might have broken the club. Ali might have broken the club. Notice in example number three, Ahmed, must have left, must have left. If you are sure, uh, we use must have plus DB. We talk about things that you are sure that you are sure happened in the past. For example, I must have left my books at home. I'm sure. He must have regretted smoking. He must have regretted smoking. So uh, if we talk about disability in the past, might have or BB. If you are sure about something, we use must have or BB. If you have recommendation for regret in the past, regret in the past, we use should have plus BB. Should have plus BB. For example, you shouldn't have gone at bed late last night. You shouldn't have gone. Okay. He should have talked to his parents. He should have talked to his parents. But can you answer this exercise? We write. Number yes. one, Ali did very badly in the exam. Ali did very badly in the exam. We will see here regret. Regret in the past. Regret in Ali. That man. Okay? Sorry. 
should have done should have done yes very well in the exam yes very good yes should he killed the girl uh, he must have killed the girl he must have killed the girl yes i'm sure number three he didn't help his friend he didn't uh, help his friends. He should. Friends. He should have helped his friends. Yes, very good. Number four. It's, it's probably that Mona lost her mobile. Mona lost her mobile. Use mine. Uh, Mona might Mona have. Might have. Lost her mobile. Lost her mobile in Kenya. Window. Uh, we have quick quiz. Number one, choose. You should try to face the right choice. Uh, can you remember the verb with the choice? Right choice to use, make, do, bird making. Right choice. Uh, right choice, uh, make. Make. Very good. Yes. We need the infinitive. We can say make it because to okay to make the right choice. Yes. Number two, don't drink too much coffee or you will become face to it. Predicted, addicted, invented, invited. Addicted to yes. it. Very good. Addicted means you can't stop going to sleep. Number three. I did an operation last year after drinking my leg. Have made this hair. Uh, I had. I had, very good, because we have lost, yes. I'm sure I might cook at home. Might have left, must have left, should have left, must have left. I'm sure. Uh, must have left. Very good, yes. Must have left. Number five. He has eaten the bad food. He should, shouldn't, must, might. He shouldn't. Yes, he shouldn't have eaten the bad food. Yes. I think my grandfather has visited England. I'm not sure. Might. Oh, my, yes, my grandfather might have visited. Number seven, he might have addicted to, addicted to smoking, to smoke, smoke, smoke. Addicted to? Yes, smoking. Addicted to something, yes, smoking. Okay, number one. Okay, number eight, people feel when they use social networking sites. Feel unhappy, happy, worried, sad. When you use social happy. networking sites, yes, happy, yes. Number nine, we should face our children to be supportive. We should admire, encourage, take, check. Encourage. Yes, very good. Uh, number 10, he, that he smoked in the past and was truly about that. He was sorry about something. He regretted me mm -hmm. the plan to show. Yes? He regretted. Yes, very good. Ah, thank you. Regretted. Let's see. Fiona Swell, transport worker. Transport worker. Okay, Ahmed, what would you like to work when you leave school? Uh, oh, yeah. I work a doctor. Yeah, you want to be a doctor? Okay, Ahmed, yes. why? What will you do? To help the ill people. Yes, to help the big people or ill people. Okay, Ahmed. I hope uh, you'll be a good doctor in the future. 
Okay, here you will turn to drama reported speech. Reported speech. If we are going to talk about direct speech, what does it mean? Direct speech, Ahmed, means when we use someone's exact words. That's the kalam in Urdu ga. But if you are talking about reported speech, when you want to report what another person said, what another person said. Let's start with the statement, reported statement. As you say, he said to me, Ali will travel abroad. This is direct speech. If you want to change it into reported speech, we need to do some changes. Number one, as you see, Ahmed, say it to we change it to. How will it say it to Ali, Ahmed? Tennis. Yes, okay. Uh, he says to me that we join the sentence with that and remove the speech mark. To remove the speech mark. Ali will travel abroad. Ali will travel abroad. You can see this sentence. How we change it? The sense? Why are you not here? No. Okay, why? If we have the reporting verb, reporting verb, they have say or tell uh, in the present, in the present, we can't change the present, the tense. We can't change the tense. Ma bagayar shi zaman. Or and say or tell the present. We call it reporting verb. We can't change the tense. Ma bagayar shi tense in the speech mark. When be aware. Not sure of your choice. Okay. Say to uh, change it to tell, but the tense. We can't change it because the reporting verb say or tell in the present. Okay? okay. So, remove the speech markers and join with that. This is in the statement. If you have pronoun, you can change it, or some words, you will change it. So, look at this. He said to them, he is watching TV. He said to them, he is watching TV. Said to change. To talk uh, that he is watching, it changes to who's watching. Why? Yes, 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 the yes, 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 uh, the tense to go one step further back into the past. The present continuous, the past continuous. Uh, as we say, you will see this table. Look at this table, Ahmed. The direct speech, the present simple, the verb. Uh, when we have reporting verb in the past, the past verb. I eat cheese. How will I eat? Present simple, it change into past simple. Well, present continuous and eating uh, was eating. It changed into past continuous. Past continuous. Yes. The present perfect. I have eaten. At past perfect. Have eaten, but have eaten. Have eaten. The past simple. I eat a cheese, but have eaten. Have eaten. Past perfect. يفضل زي ما هو لأنه ما فيش أعلى منه الصوت perfect I had eaten cheese he had eaten cheese uh, notice we cheese is some pronoun خلي بالك he said I ate cheese but he said that he had a cheese okay we have okay. rules we have rules uh, when we uh, when we change from direct to reported speech the first thing uh, we change and the say to Say to, to tell. Say to, to talk. Uh, if the reporting the verb in, is the present, we change the pronoun. Uh, we join with that. We can't change the tense. Uh, but if the reporting the verb say to in the past, uh, we change the pronoun and we change the tense. The tense go one step further back. As you see, present to past. Okay, so. 
of this vortex, we change it. This, we change it to that. These, to those. Here, change it to there. Now, we change it to them. Yesterday, the day before, make it the following. Tomorrow, the following day. Ago, we change it to before. Today, that day. Last week, the week before. Okay, Ahmad? Okay. This is in the statement, the reported statement. But if we have reported command, then imperative sentence. Mother said to me, don't eat cake. Between the speech markets, we don't have a statement. It's imperative sentence. It's called an abrea. Mother told me, we changed it to, to told. We join with what? If it's affirmative sentence, we join with two. If it's negative sentence, we join with not to. My mother told me not to eat the cake. Remove the speech markers and join with not to. Please don't be late. The teacher said the reported command we can use Ahmed sometimes. We can say use advice. Uh, order, warn it, uh, not only told. مش كل مرة يقولك غير told. أحيانا بيستعمل advice, warn it, order. Okay? The teacher advises them okay. not to be late, not to be late. Okay? So this is another example for the imperative sentence. Ali said to me, open the door, open the door now. This is affirmative sentence. If I said to, we can say Ali told or ask me to open the door, remove the speech markers and join with to, join with to. We two. can see now, it change it to, جدول احنا قلنا عليه, now, how was it then? Mona said to me, don't come late. Mona told me not to come late, not to come late. Late. Okay, can you change Ahmed to this sentence? Mr. Ali said to us, don't neglect, don't neglect your lesson. Neglect it, don't be careless towards your lesson. But it means you that, okay? Don't neglect your okay. lesson. You told. Uh, Mr. Ali yes. told us, told us not to, not to neglect, neglect not our. To our necklace, our lessons. Not to neglect our, our lessons. Very good, yeah. Very good. You change set to to hold. You remove the speech markers and join with not to, and you change the pronoun your to our. Okay, very good. Number two. Don't spend too much money, said my father. You will warn it. My father, my father, my father warned me, warned me, not to, not to, very good. Spend, spend too much spend money. Too much money. Thank you. Number three, mom said, don't play with matches. My advice. My mom had advised. Advice, yes. Advised who? Advised. May? May? Yes. Advised, May? Uh, not to play with to matches. Play with matches. Okay. Well done. Ah. Yes. Number four. Sarah said, come early, Mona. Come early, Mona. Use advice. Uh, Sarah advised Mona to Sorry. come early. Yes, Sara advised Mona to come early. Very good. Okay. Another exercise. Don't touch the snake. Noel said to Ola, use warning. Noel warned Ola. Noel warned Ola, yes. Not to touch the snake. Very good. Not to touch the snake. 
Number two, send up the teacher sent to the class order. The teacher ordered the class yes, to stand the, up. The teacher ordered the class to stand up. The museum is next to the park. Mr. Ilbez said to Omar, you stole. Uh, Mr. Bez yes. told, told Omar, Omar. Yes, that. that. That, very good. This is statement. The museum. The museum was. Was naked to the park. Naked to the park. Very good, yes. Here we ask you to write uh, an email or paragraph. We will talk about it in the next session, okay? Uh, let's see. Unit one. This is a short quiz. Can you answer? Yes. Choose number one. Canada is cold in winter. Special, specially, specialist, specialized. Special. Special, yes. Number two. If you are please, you are pleased because something is good. When you are pleased because something is good, you are lazy. Angry, sad, proud. Proud. Proud, yes. Number three, your face at work tells you what to do each day. Manage, manager, dentist, oculist. Manager. Yes, very good. Manager is the person who said you to do everything. Number four, see. Face means that he would buy a car, save, ask it, said, sold. He told me. He told me that, yes, this is a reported statement. My mother ordered me, tidy my room. Didn't, don't, do, or that. Do. My mother ordered me to tidy my room. Very good, yeah. Number six, we face the waiter to bring us some water. Ask it, so ask it. Warning. We ask, ask it. it the waiter. Yes, very good. Number seven, a ticket. The space work is on a bus station. Mechanic, inspector, cleaner, pilot. Inspector. An inspector, yes. Number eight, you ask for A or N space when a car or a machine breaks down. Breaks down means you don't work. Mechanic, uh, hairdresser, cleaner, manager. Mechanic. Mechanic. Number nine, space is very important because it gets us most of the food we eat. Tourism, industry, nursing, farming. Uh, farming? Yes, farming. Number 10, students in education don't go to technical school. Students in education don't go to technical school. Uh, general? General, yes. Very good. Uh, we have a quiz for unit 13. Do you remember it? Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Number one, the Earth is one of eight in our solar system. Do you know that our solar system, the sun, and we have eight planets? Uh, planets, plane, plans, planets. Planets. Planets, yes. Number two, can look at the planets and the stars through the scope. Uh, astronomers. Yes, astronomers. Number three, at night in the desert, you can sometimes see space which disappear very quickly. Uh, sun, sun, uh, shooting stars, moon. Shooting stars. Shooting stars, yes. Number four, he asked how many planets are there, where there, there are, uh, there where. The question reported, we will talk about it in the next session. We ask it how many plants. If we report a question, uh, uh, 
there we change the question to a statement remember when we are asking the problem or there oh, we are there there are there we are there we are there we are very good yes it changes the tense and it changes the question to statement number five is yet after this it was hot or cold on the moon if we have yes and no question when we change it to report it with the chat, we use okay. if with our to that. If. Yes, yes. Uh, I ask it later, which book was? It, he, him? his, him. Uh, which one is his? Which one is? Sorry. It? Uh, which book was his? Okay. Ahmed. Which is his? Yani? Yes. We change the pronoun. The earth stays around the sun. Cold, soft, turns, freezes. Turns. Yes, turns around the sun. It, some stars are made of. Rocket, gas, uh, paper, metal. Yes. Yes. Number nine, could you answer some question for me? Could you go up possible, uh, possibly uh, impossible? Uh, probably. 